Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about designing and implementing ambiences with WISE and Unreal. Again, I'm using this Western Town project that has a nice convenient day and night cycle uh, and there's a couple ways that I'm using that. So for example, the time of day parameter is going to be driving a blend container that's just switching between a nighttime ambience and a daytime one. There's also some slight voice volume modulation too. Some of the in-game emitters are also affected by this. So this is the town saloon. So around six o'clock at night, everyone's partying at the saloon. And as the time increases, um, it just goes back to its day version. This parameter also affects the volume of the in-town music theme as well. So the time of day also changes the wildlife emitters uh, in this scene as well. So when you walk into this big sphere, it will start triggering sounds around the player. Uh, you can determine the time in which these will spawn. And of course, you can change the distance from the player that will spawn as well. So there's a great tutorial on the Unreal Learning site that shows you how to set up this ambient spawner. Um, I've just copied it, but modified it so that it spawns AK objects or AK components instead of sound cues. Um, but it's a very nice tool and it saves you having to individually place things and it gives a really nice degree of randomness to, to the sound as well. So I'm using this ambient emitter to call uh, a blend container that just blends between different animal types based on the time of day. And I'm making use of the attenuation features here where I'm just sending the signal to a reverb and delay bus uh, based on how far away the source is from the player. So unfortunately the dust particle system in this doesn't quite work like the time of day. It's either just off or it's on. Um, but I still wanted to give the wind audio the same kind of degree of flexibility and randomness as the emitters. So I've used the same timer function and I'm just calling the wind in a sort of random amount of time. So I've got a stereo layer, which is the low frequencies of the wind, which isn't spatialized. That's then blended with a different layer, which is using the listener automation to give a sense of the wind passing by the player. Um, I'm using the hold listener orientation feature here so that if the player moves after it's triggered, the wind will still take the path it's meant to around the player. So I put ambient emitters in all the buildings of the map. Uh, this emitter contains a creaking sound that will trigger only when a gust is triggered, so that it sounds like the wind is actually interacting with these buildings. And finally, I'm using a blend container for the rain, uh, which just simply fades between different types of intensities. So this variable is naturally hooked up to anything in game. Uh, like the dust, the rain's either just off or on. So I made my own little HUD here uh, in which I can control parameters uh, that simulate how you'd expect certain systems to work uh, in, in a game. In addition to the 2D rain, um, I've got some emitters that is meant to simulate the rain making contact with different surfaces. This really helps sell the idea of a 3D experience over a 2D one. These emitters are also affected by the same parameter that drives the main 2D rain. I'm also applying a slight ducking effect to the 2D rain. Um, just so that you stand out as you get close to them. 